uh, the, the airing of glee, which I thought was interesting. So, uh, I think it's strange that uh, none of these sort of social criticisms address the fact that the show is the highest rated show on television at the moment. Um, the, uh, after Abercrombie and Fitch requested that members of the show stop wearing their apparel, uh, ratings increased 5% in the next episode. Um, what about Abercrombie and Fitch sales? I don't have that data, but I'd be interested to look at it. I mean, and I think that's all the more funny because if they're really hating on the show being like sex and youth and whatnot, like have you ever been in one of their stores? <laughs> um, season four premiere episode at 8.8 .8 million viewers, which is 3.8% of the 18 to 49 demographics. So not only is it the most popular show on television currently, but it's also the most popular show on television amongst the largest consumer uh, viewer block. This is the same phenomenon that occurred with um, the Dave Chappelle Show. Dave Chappelle Show was so ridiculously profitable for Comedy Central, specifically because um, young men, right, if, uh, who have like a new access to discretionary income are basically the bread and butter of television uh, advertising. And Jersey Shore is hitting that demographic, uh, crushing it, um, so to speak. Uh, Simon Cromwell, I, I like, he, his response was that, uh, when asked to define the X Factor, his sort of new show, he's like, Castle Jersey Shore, obviously. And, and, and people are like, but they have no talent or whatever. He's like, that's the thing. It's just the X Factor. They just make me laugh. Right? I'm off, I, 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 I made a colleague in our political science department scoff when I explained that I thought that Snooki was superior to Charlie Chaplin because Charlie had to try to be as funny as he was. And Snooki's just naturally talented. Um, <laughs> She falls down, it is just as funny as Charlie <laughs> Chaplin. Um, lastly, I mean, let's, it's strange, I think it's strange that we judge the behaviors that we observe on this television show as though they're real, ordinary behaviors of human beings. There's a really great episode of This American Life where um, they, they, they had a TV show in addition to the radio show. and It was, it was on Showtime. And they, they made this cartoon to complement one of the radio stories. And it was a kindergarten teacher um, in a wantonness to communicate to her class um, the, uh, the, the, the aspects of journalism in a democratic society had her students make little video cameras out of shoe boxes and toilet paper rolls. Um, and so each of the little kids had their little video camera and they would go around and interview one another and, and, and observe the sort of ongoings of the classroom. The, it, the kids liked it so much that they didn't want to stop playing with the pretend video cameras. And all was fine and well until recess when the teacher went outside and noticed that there was a crowd of the students sort of all standing around pointing their shoe boxes. As Two of the school members beat the snot out of each other. And all of the little kids with their fake video cameras were narrating <laughs> and reporting on the event. Um, and uh, it, the, the clip is meant to sort of evoke the notion that when you're being observed, you might modify your behavior. The cast members know what the ratings are correlated with, and they know which shows get higher ratings. and it, it's not surprising that they respond to that form of incentive. Um, and in fact, the situation on the show even, he's like, I saw the ratings last week, didn't you? Um, so I, I, I think to a large extent, reality TV shows, they are actors. You would never imagine someone going up to the cast of Days of Our Lives and saying, well, I just think that you're a point. Um, it would be strange to judge others in that way. Um, so in their personal lives, many of the cast members uh, either uh, communicate sort of things that we would consider to be virtuous behaviors. The situation thinks that knowledge is power and that young people should educate themselves, hooray. Uh, more seriously, uh, Pauly D is auctioning off a date with himself to, to, to give his charity to St. Jude, uh, Catholic Charities. Vinny is, uh, I, I think, most interesting here. Uh, Vinny is a spokesperson for this project called It Gets Better. Um, it Gets Better is an outreach attempt 
to uh, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender teens to communicate the negative effects of bullying in high school. And the phrase, it gets better, is meant to describe conditions of the real world that are, in fact, better than uh, the conditions that our young people are subjected to in our public education system today. Um, you know that we keep track of things like biting in public school? Like, I never go to the mall and fear getting bitten. Um, yet, people in high school apparently should walk around and fear getting bitten. Um, all of these things contribute to, I think, what is generally a unique and interesting cultural phenomenon that we should pay attention to. And I'm not the only one. University of Chicago is hosting an academic conference on the topic of the Jersey Shore. Um, now, this last point where, where Vinny is, is an outspoken uh, representative of, say, social tolerance of, of gay and lesbian lifestyles is something that's inherent in the messaging and the, the cultural identity of this show and many others like it. Um, you do you, I do me. An inherently liberal message of tolerance and cosmopolitanism. Something where we recognize and admit to the differences and diversities of one another. And we strive for a social outlook which embraces that tolerance. Um, when <laughs> Ronnie destroys all of the worldly possessions of Sammy in a fit of rage, um, and then goes up to the situation in frustration that he had shared with Sammy uh, uh, the fact that he had cheated on her. He was like, what about the bro code? And the situation in confessional explains bro code. What about the human being code? Uh, which I was really appreciative as a sort of property rights libertarian. I was like, way to go, Sitch. <laughs> like, it is not cool to break other people's stuff. Um, Situation gives advice to Snooky. He says, you know, if a guy doesn't like you for you, well, F you, there's a million people in the world. And I think that's sort of like my general attitude of watching this show, is that if we are going to strive for a society of, of wide-scale division of labor and anonymous agents, then it's not surprising that you're going to have groups of people who bask and rump through that anonymity. Now, to attempt to redirect that cultural output, to heavy-handedly plan and restructure the messaging that comes out of it, might ruin the very process that allowed for it. Um, the, I like to think of the Jersey Shore, it's like sweat. Sweat is an unfortunate byproduct of working out. Trying to minimize or eliminate it is probably a function of not working out. And you're going to lose the benefits associated with that. Um, so in general, I think that the cultural intolerance of reacting to this show is probably doing more harm than the sort of obscure appreciation for debauchery that the show actually represents. With that, I'd like to say thanks for coming.